Hi there, this is David Dyer again, and today our subject is How to Escape the Great Tribulation. Maybe you don't realize it, but Jesus gave us some specific instructions telling us how to escape. He spent a long time instructing his disciples about the destruction of Jerusalem and what will happen in the times of the end. And then after he finished his discourse, he told them how to escape these things. I know there are a lot of Christians who are expecting to escape these things through the rapture. But as we saw in a previous video, this is not going to happen. The seventh trumpet will be the time of the rapture. But how do we escape these things? Let's read together what Jesus clearly teaches us. I'm reading from Luke 21, verse 36. But be vigilant at all times, praying that you would be considered worthy to escape all these things which take place, and to stand in the presence of the Son of Man. Escaping all these things which take place means he's talking about the things he just described, all the disasters and wars and things that will happen during what we call the tribulation. Let's read another verse from the book of Revelation. I'm reading from Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because you have kept my word steadfastly, I will also keep you from the hour of testing which is ready to come upon the entire world to test those who live on the earth. Here Jesus is saying he will keep us from the hour of trial or the hour of testing. One of God's purposes in allowing the world to suffer the great tribulation or better translated the great persecution is to test us, to test our hearts, to see where we are, to see what we'll do when the chips are down. Of course, he knows what we'll do, but many times we don't know. We don't know our own hearts until we have been tested. So Jesus gives us some instructions. If you want to escape these things that are coming, what do you do? Do you stock up food? Do you buy arms and ammunition? That is not what Jesus teaches. He teaches that we should prepare ourselves. In Luke 12, he talks about the servant who didn't prepare themselves. So there is a preparation that we can make. There are things we can do. What are they? We can draw near to God. We can cleanse our hearts. We can open up to him and allow him to examine our lives, deal with, anything he finds there which is not pleasing to him. Secondly, we can consecrate ourselves completely to him. Thirdly, we can obey him. We can do his will. We can spend our life working in his kingdom, serving him instead of serving ourselves and our families. There are ways to prepare ourselves. This principally involves drawing near to God becoming intimate with God, letting him deal with anything in our lives that is inhibiting our intimacy with him. This is essential. If we want to escape these things, this is the preparation we need to do, a preparation of our heart, a spiritual preparation, getting ready to meet him when he comes, being awake, being watchful and preparing our hearts so that we may be considered worthy to escape these things.